whereas this is parallel in case of our parallel plan section in tapered plan section there is a tapering now what difference it's going to make is we are going in, in parallel plan section generally we have a greater plan width compared to our tapered plan sections so greater plan width results in greater bending moment taking capacity and greater bending moment taking capacity results in economy now if we see what are the advantages of the universal rolling technology because uh, you can see in the picture all the four rolls are in continuous contact with the surface therefore we are getting a greater super, uh, surface finish of the product second thing the mill helps in getting desired lengths as low as 6 meters to as high as 24 meters so in many cases we can avoid splices if we can decide it in the design stage and we can get multiple sections in the same depth range i will explain this further in the next slide for example i want a section of 300 depth according to the code 12778 which actually deals with parallel plan sections we get three different sections one is 36.5 42.2 and 49.3 and this can be done with the same roll set therefore we can just vary the web thicknesses and plan thicknesses and get three different sections now what kind of advantage does this give before when we had only mbs in the structural market we had only 10 sections available for the designers to design now we have 37 sections in the place that is for every depth we have almost three to four sections therefore you have a bigger gamut of sections for the designers to choose from and they can achieve greater efficiency in design in parallel plan sections sail till now could produce 37 sections out of which 28 are npbs and 9 are wpbs these are the section list which we have stabilized till now here we can see in npb 200 you have three sections 300 you have three sections in npb 400 you have four sections in 450 five sections and in 500 600 and we also have a npb 750 which is new to the structural market of indian structural market where we have five different sections these also have equivalents in ipe that is european section european sections which mentioned at the you can clearly see for example we are talking about npb 300 almost similar depth that is 297 300 and 304 the flange widths are 150 150 and 152 but the weights are different because the web thickness are varying from 7 to 8 mm and the flange thickness are varying from 9 mm to 12 mm so as per the requirement designer can choose a section similarly when you come to wpb till stabilize one section in for w160 we have four sections we have four section for 300 we have one section and four more sections are possible in this range now let us see which stand compared to the world market share of construction in different countries this percentages are with comparison to the rcc frame construction in that country in japan the market is structural steel construction it might be composite construction with structural steel frame or steel frame construction in australia 50 and in us as as 80 whereas in our country it is than 10% and we talk about high rise buildings where steel is used as primary framing material in india it is not even 2% so there is a huge gap that can be filled in if you look at the indian structural market the indian structural market can be divided into three different three broad categories one is light structurals heavy structurals and medium structurals 
light structurals accounts to 50% of the market which is primarily angles angles which whose uh, size is less than 90 90 mm and whereas heavy and medium structurals include channels beams and heavy angles like 200 mm angles the heavy uh, medium and heavy structural market accounts to almost 50% of the indian structural market and the total size of the market is around 8 million ton now if we see where the parallel flange section stand it is not even 10% of the total medium and heavy structural market so we actually there is a huge gap where we can really uh, impact steel structural buildings like in residential and buildings where we actually create we cross this gap by doing this parallel transactions the basic reason this was happening till now was as i told you the a smaller diameter structural sections that was only 10 mm available for the market and not much emphasis on life cycle cost analysis because steel becomes cheaper when you talk about the life cycle of the building instead of just in the capital cost of the building because the salvage value of steel is pretty higher when you take the life cycle cost next there is lack of strong codal support in india for example if you want to do composite construction the codal support is not as strong when compared to uh, rcc construction And one more thing is for high rise buildings fire resistant steel becomes a must so non availability of fire resistant structural steel was also one of the reasons why we can do this ye hui cut cut kya tha so steel has already started is akul pa hai 85 percent which are three to four times more than the availability of the conventional sections we have provided fair support in stat pro like uh, before there was no 2778 on the stat pro with our iq we could bring those sections into stat pro so that people can start designing stat pro complete one to six sections are been sir made some design for the designers who want to see how they can actually the section on the load nothing is the section for the we have interact many designers in the country try to regarding the operation of cost and time parallel flange section sir okay thank you deepak uh, namaskar and uh, good afternoon to uh, um, the entire esteemed audience uh, we have already so far seen uh, the basic essential difference uh, between parallel flange section and the conventional tapered section the uh, uh, construction methodology and uh, as also uh excuse me and uh, am i audible clearly yes gotham you audible yes gotham you okay. audible please yeah yeah so deepak can i move on deepak deepak can i move on? yeah uh, so now in so now it seems from a design point of view uh, the comparison between a parallel plan section and a, a conventional uh, tapered plan section for parallel plan section uh, as we have already seen um, we have seen the cross section of parallel plan section as well as the cross section of uh, one uh, tapered plan we have seen the differences the primary difference that we have already seen that uh, for a uh, tapering section this is at an angle whereas uh, parallel plan section the plans are parallel to each other so what are the what benefit does it yield number one taper trench can be avoided uh, in case of welding due to availability of right angle at the top edge so it becomes much easier whereas for uh, a taper fan section because of the root radius the uh, that makes it slightly difficult just a minute yeah. oh sorry also the section with multiple sectional weights can be produced uh, with a single set of rooms hence 
a designer obviously i mean just we are seeing that we are for for uh, any sort of depth either 200 300 or 450 at least we have got a choice of three to four section in every depth so uh, it does give or it does provide a fair amount of uh, flexibility uh, in the hands of uh, designer whereas in a conventional uh, uh, barrel french sections what we had we only had one set of section from one set of roll so what it used to happen so if, we, if one particular section, if it is, let us say, if my ISMB uh, uh, 400 section is failing, probably I, uh, I wouldn't have any choice. I would be going into next higher section at uh, ISMB 500 because uh, obviously uh, my first priority is to make the section safe because for any structure, there are two, two basic considerations. Primary consideration, the structure should be safe, safe from all, all sorts of loading uh, condition and consideration. And once it's a safe structure, second, it, economy. Economy, of course, it's very, very important part, but the primary part is my uh, structural safety. So if my structure is failing, let us say 400, I, I wouldn't have any choice but to go to a higher section. Whereas because of the uh, presence and availability of a number of choices in the same depth, we can try one of them and try and see what it suits. It, uh, so, so it gives a, a definite flexibility in the hands of the designer. Also, the greater efficiency and economy in terms of load carrying capacity due to better distribution of material. This is the one, this is the point that actually makes the parallel fan section different. I mean, see, see, I mean, if we have a parallel fan section of a, say, 250 grade or 300 grade or an, um, a 250 grade or uh, a tapered section of 250 grade, how, how is it that, where does it make the difference? Where it comes from? This is the point where it comes from. With, in case of a parallel fan section, the distribution, distribution of material across the section is far more uh, scientific, or uh, we can say it's far more logical. Because uh, after all, our total section weight comes from the sectional area. And say, if we uh, distribute the material across the section, in place, which adds to my structural strength, then from the same weight of uh, cross section will get a higher. This is this will see in detail how it works. Whereas for our previous section, uh, they were obviously slightly lesser efficient in carrying compressor loads because the distribution of load or the distribution of material across the section, uh, we cannot say it's unscientific, but we can say it is a little bit less logical as, as compared to our parallel plan section. Generally, what my understanding or what we have seen from our previous experience, Parallel fan section in a structure can yield to um, anything between 10 to 30 percent of economy in comparison to conventional sections. This, of course, we'll see uh, through some examples. Deepak, next. Uh, now, parallel fan section. We have already seen the table, but we'll just see uh, in terms of from a from a designer point of view or from a. Uh, there are two set of sections, narrow, narrow parallel flange beams, which we call it NPBs, and uh, wide parallel flange beams, which we call it WPBs. Now, generally for narrow uh, par parallel flange and, uh, NPBs, generally the width of the flange is uh, lower as against the depth. Uh, we have seen from the table also when we are saying, say, for even for a 750 uh, depth uh, NPBs, the flange width is around uh, 250 or 270, around so. Whereas for W, I mean, and these are the sections which are used for uh, mostly for beam, for lateral loaded members, primarily for taking uh, bending moments. Uh, beam in generally, even if it has got a large span, it will still have lateral support. So in this particular, our primary requirement for a beam design is the section modulus. And because with higher depth, uh, from let us say from a range of 100, 150 to 750, so this larger depth, provides a better uh, section module. Whereas the column section, uh, the basic difference is that the flange width is nearly uh, the data itself. Um, as we see here, uh, that is depth of the flange width. The flange width is the the NPB by into 136. Now, see this. This is of WBS. Why?
I wish to deal with ISMB and uh, 300. We always say that because there's only one which we need to differentiate. So generally, we'll be looked by the depth and the correct sectoral value. And obviously, NPB section, uh, uh, we mentioned laterally loaded schemes and W of course are better loaded member columns. And this is where uh, where the wider flange comes into as it moves. So now we'll see the advantages one by one. Say uh, one advantage is that without this, with this uh, parallel, I mean, with our, this modern technology I and mean, this universal rolling technology I and mean, uh, this, uh, we can produce a section which has got a much increased area, but it has got a much smaller depth. That is, uh, much of the weight is concentrated in one area. So it has got a different example. Let us for for uh, plunge columns, where we actually insert it. Uh, I mean, the column is inserted directly into the. Uh, freshly cast uh, concrete and thereby avoid any uh, base plate or foundation board. So if, if we are looking for one section which is to be used as a pile section, uh, this can be, uh, this actually is very helpful there because it has got large, uh, uh, I mean, greater area, whereas got a much smaller depth. So it is concentrated in one area for taking uh, higher loads. Now, this is, uh, this we have pointed out the, the, the basic and the primary probably the central most uh, difference the distribution of load uh, i mean material across the section far more logical so so to say scientific this thing what happens with in case of this parallel fan section because of this uh, better distribution of material what we get we get a greater jdx value that is a greater uh, section modulus about the major axis and uh, this ROI, there is a radius of gyration uh, about the weaker or the axis. Uh, those who are dealing with uh, steel structural design, they, I mean, for any structural member, the weakness is its strength. And as you all know, uh, steel, it's, it's very strong in uh, tension, whereas it has got its weakness against compression. And the primary, the compressive strength of a member is generally guided by its uh, uh, one parameter, which of, of, of course many people are, I mean, all are aware of us, called the slenderness ratio, slenderness ratio, which is calculated as the unsupported length divided by the uh, radius of gyration about the smaller axis or about the unsupported. Now, because of this uh, greater or uh, ROI value, this results in a re uh, lesser slenderness ratio, thereby leading to a greater strength, both as an actual uh, load carrying capacity, as well as greater moment carrying capacity about its major axis. Uh, this is, of course, is a, is a uh, advantage in terms of fabrication. We have seen that uh, say if we do, uh, want to do any bolted connection, which is again quite popular these days, if we have to do a bolted uh, uh, connection, uh, in case of tapered, because of the tapering, uh, we need to introduce uh, tapered washers. So this is one issue which comes in, and also this is, I mean, this will also require good quality control. But whereas in case of uh, parallel fan sections, there is no such of introducing uh, tapered sections any as such, and we can do bolting uh, far more quickly. And because of this, this ability to do uh, this uh, bolting on the flanges, uh, splicing also becomes difficult. Uh, this is what we're saying. Let us say in case of a uh, much longer column, where obviously our we have got some limitation in, in terms of length, but there probably if we have to go a building structure which is 30 meter, 40 meter, 50 meter high, obviously we'll need uh, splices at number of places. So uh, this is where it comes in, these parallel flange sections, because of their easy uh, bolting options, uh, site fabrication and as well as erection obviously becomes much faster. Now, uh, we have uh, talked about some uh, advantages. We'll just see it through how we can, uh, I mean, uh, what benefit we're getting through some examples in terms of actual numerical values. Uh, what we have done, we have considered one building. This is, up to, this is an example, small building. Uh, those who are doing uh, dealing with industrial structure and those who are dealing with particularly material handling, uh, you may have come across this kind of a building. Uh, this, is, this closely resembles uh, a junction house. Uh, we have 
building plan dimension of six meter by six meter, and we have got two story and a roof. Uh, the story height uh, is four meter, and uh, the eaves level level is uh, twelve meter, which is indicated on the left hand side. And uh, what uh, loading condition we have considered? Uh, there is a dead load of uh, four hundred kg per meter on the uh, roof and thousand kg on the floor. No, this dead load. You cannot see this part. How it is not visible here? 400. Now we have considered 400 load. Okay, and and we have got live load on the two floors. Uh, the bottommost floor, that is the first floor level, 600 kg per meter square, and uh, uh, two of the uh, square on the mid and 200 kg meter on the roof beams, and uh, 1000 meter square on the uh, second level floor. Is it there? Yeah, second. Okay. And we have considered total wind load of 300 kg per meter on each column in either direction. That is for both X and Z direction. So this is our structural geometry, a six by six building, 12 meter high uh, with the floors, uh, first floor and second floor at the roof level. And now, so these two structure, I mean, and we have given some loading conditions, some dead load uh, and live load and some lateral wind load. These two section we have analyzed uh, and analyzed and designed by uh, using a parallel fan section as also uh, the conventional tapered sections. Let's see what we have done here. I mean, on the left hand side, we have got the conventional section. We have got top beams at the top level. We have uh, considered ISMB 250, uh, mid level beam ISMB 350, lower, that is the first low level ISMB 450, because we have provided higher load 600 kg per at that first low level, and columns as ISMB 600. Whereas on the paraffin, uh, this is not visible, the Deepak phone is something. Okay, column section is WPV, lower beams is NPV 400, the mid-level beam is NPV 300, and the top beam is? Okay, 250, okay. So these two sections, so our, our structural geometry remains same, our uh, loading condition remains same. So the structural behavior should be same for same geometry and loading. Only difference is that one, one section, section is completely made of conventional parallel flange beams, and the other section is uh, our uh, this new uh, NPVs and WPVs. So let, let's see what has happened. The design, the central figure you are seeing. What you are seeing, the figure, this is three digit. I mean, uh, um, uh, three places after decimals. These are utilization ratio. Those who are dealing with uh, uh, design, they probably are fully aware of this thing. This is what it's showing. It is showing the uh, the ratio of the uh, I mean, uh, actual load or actual stresses in the beam as against its carrying capacity. So. If you see the column section at the left hand side, 0.916. That means, I mean, almost 91.6 percent of, of its load carrying capacity has been utilized. Or in other words, uh, the applied load on the member is almost 91.6 percent of its capacity. Where, I mean, on, whereas on the other side, let us say column section, we are seeing 0.874. So in this case, 87.4 percent of the capacity uh, actually is loaded or stressed. So, if we see column, it has gone up to 0.91 on the left hand side. 0.987, which is quite comparable with the thing. First floor level beams, 0.89, that means close to 9. And here we are getting 0.81. Second floor level, again, 0.89. And the uh, uh, figure on the right is 0.82. And on the roof, roof this is slightly underutilized, though. So both on both the sides, uh, the section, I mean, the utilization of the capacity of the member is very, very close and very comparable. So same structure same uh, sort of loading condition and almost the same level of uh, utilization of the capacity of the member. So what we are getting, we'll see in the next slide. With our conventional parallel fan section, we have used ISMB 600 and ISMB 450, ISMB 350, ISMB 250, and total uh, weight, uh, if we calculate, we are using 9.904 ton for the structure. We're, we're, we're only, uh, I mean, uh, talking about the, only the member part here, obviously any connection detail or aspects are not included here. And whereas on the right hand side, we are using WPB 240, and NPB 400, NPB 300, and NPB 250. And our total uh, weight comes 7.661. ones. So what we are getting here, what you are seeing, 23% saving in weight is realized by using parallel fan section instead of concentrate sections. So clearly, see uh, what we have seen in this example here. Same set of structure and geometry, and under same loading, 
a nearly same level of capillary capacity utilization. We have a clear cut saving of around 23% in, in material weight. This is only a very small structure. So if you say, when we are de dealing with much larger projects involving much larger uh, volume or quantity of structural steel, this sa saving is substantial. So what is happening because uh, as we have already seen, because of the greater efficiency of the parallel transaction, uh, because of the much greater uh, distribution of material, I mean, uh, distribution of material across the section, which has leads to much lesser standardness ratio and a greater section modulus. And uh, so, we, so, so this is what this is the point that we are basically trying to uh, convey or uh, make it clear from this presentation. Say, when you have got the option, this is. Sorry, uh, my actually my PC actually has uh, actually is malfunctioning since the morning. It has uh, malfunctioned at the worst possible moment <laughs> when I'm at the middle of my speech. Anyway, uh, uh, I'm uh, what what basically basically uh, message convey properly that we have got choice between uh, this section and the uh, paper section, and clearly we are these uh, uh, these sections are from more sections of Product, the quality of the product is much better. We have, uh, we have got choice of grades. Uh, we have got choice of grades of, uh, let's say, uh, E250, that is uh, 250 MPA grade. We have got choice of uh, 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 300 MPA grade. And at the same time, we are getting uh, an advantage of uh, sectional weight. The next one. That is was one walked up we have seen from sub uh, left hand next Electric poles. Uh, these are mostly for uh, rural and semi-urban areas. Uh, this we have done for OPT is a part of uh, what they used to do. They used to uh, use P one fifty six. You see, right side of the it has a had a thirty four thirty four. Although it has a 
lesser uh, so from this we are getting a 12 so given this and design calculation this was accepted by uh, and uh, they have used for substantial um, uh, substantial amount of quantity they have used for their purpose and after that uh, uh, some state governments in chhattisgarh in madhya pradesh as well as west bengal they have also used this section so they obviously see the benefit of this thing that this 12% saving when you are dealing with much larger amount of costing this models uh, so we are able to by your budget Uh, another uh, case study uh, would like to see uh, you probably may have all seen it uh, but most of you in fact all of you must have traveled by train at some point or the other i don't know how many times i have looked out of the window probably you may have seen the majority of our trains are now uh, running on electrical power only uh, what they call this electrical i mean railway people they call it ohi mast the power line that is over there over the uh, your uh, the railway engines uh, they, they call it ohi that is overhead uh electrical mast uh, which actually uh, supplies the power to the uh, locomotives now there are different types of masts uh, in a sea uh, there are normal cantilever mast there are anti trip mast anchor mast these are different types uh, different type of around uh, generally they they actually uh, set this uh, their rail i mean that layout line into 1.5 km so every 1.5 Set, there is one new set of power line although but obviously we cannot have a discontinuity uh, the locomotive uh, has to receive power continuously so what you actually see as a power line as a continuous but the structure that is supporting the power line is discontinuous these are actually in 1.5 km segment and obviously because the power line has to be made continuous so at ends there has to be some overlap so some of the mast we are seeing here as uh, anchor uh, mast overlap then uh, it overlap so all this obviously duplication of different loading conditions what system actually is the oh four conductors there total one of which is the power line and the others are uh, the catenary you have, must have seen it for uh, one where actually sags uh, the center part is a bottom part whereas near the support it goes up that's called a catenary now and also there are uh, return conduct arcing conduct arcing west set of where to these of course have lateral loading so it is some anchor division because it will be some and because of some engine the real tension so from this this is 90 95% loading is, is bending moment about the major axis the vertical now what uh, uh, railway has been using now is that what they call it uh, rsg uh, section railway the steel joint the Mission for 246. It has got a set three nights, considerably less. If you see here, the set here the per meter is 47.39 as against 52 kg. So they are getting five kg per meter, I mean close to five kg per meter lesser weight. But still, it results in a higher sectional modulus. That is 5521 kg centimeter cube over 471. Four seventy one centimeter cube section modulus, and here also radius radius of gyration. If you see uh, the minimum value that is about the minor axis, it's five point eight seven as against three point five four. So 
these two things, the radius of gyration about the minor axis and the greater sectional modulus about the major axis. So these two are the primarily uh, parameter which is controlling the strength of the member. So because both these two are higher, even with a lesser material or with a lesser sectional weight per meter, we st are still getting uh, safer section. So RDS actually has already, uh, but several times they have scrutinized our design profession and they are actually happy and they have actually cleared it from that. They have forwarded for, um, for approval from the higher for the higher ups. What we, again, we are seeing uh, the advantages of uh, this parallel fan section with, uh, by using uh, lesser weight, that is, uh, we are still getting uh, the desire or the required uh, strength in the member on the, or, or for that matter in any structural system. So, yeah, of course. So, uh, what we are seeing is that this, if we, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, this uh, over a length of, uh, I mean, uh, considering 18 poles of RSJ, I mean, uh, of RSJ, this 52 kg meter, uh, which is replaced by WPB uh, 240 section, we uh, are considering 9.5 meters of length for each post over a nine over uh, 1.5 kilometers that is 22 poles uh, we will get about nine percent but here we need to mention we are actually considered 18 poles not 22 poles because of the six type of masks that is there only overlap intermediate mask uh, this is the one where this section with a lesser weight that is wpb is not doing very well this is in this only one particular area where this rsj section with 52 kg higher load is doing slightly better which is safe so except so out of this uh, six uh, uh, type of mask. Actually, we have considered this uh, uh, design of mask for several uh, wind load cases, starting from 33 meter per second all the way up to 55 meter per second, and as also for uh, loading span of 72 meter and 36 meter, and as also on uh, straights and curves for each of these types. Only the overlap intermediate mask that is not. I mean, this uh, WPB uh, 240 section with the 47 kg per meter load is not doing very well uh, on only for but for other five this is doing perfectly okay so we have considered 18 poles out of 22 because for a, over a stretch of 1.5 kilometers there will be four such posts which are overlap intermediate mass so other than that so uh, this 18 pole that results in a uh, total saving of uh, nine percent and now if we uh, think of our indian railways and the thousands and thousands and thousands of the railway track this nine percent saving this will result in a considerable amount of uh, uh, saving in material. Next. So, what then we are looking uh, at the moment uh, that we have already said we have got two uh, plants, so two wheels which are mostly uh, producing this uh, parallel plant section. One is MSM at Durgapur, and the other is at uh, USM uh, at ISP Banpur. Uh, there, we are from MSM Durgapur, we are mostly producing E250 grade, and uh, from USM uh, Banpur. Uh, we are mostly producing uh, uh, E350 grade. So what we are looking for, what we are planning to produce is still higher grade, 450 grade still, uh, the information that we have got so far, uh, within this year or maybe in near future, uh, probably we'll get uh, 450 grade steel also. So this 450 grade still higher strength along with the higher sectional property obviously will uh, give a, a much better economy in the section and of course it will give more um, uh, flexibility to the designer as well. Uh, uh, as we have pointed out, we have, at the moment we have got 37 sections, which itself is quite big, but we still are adding, uh, planning to add more and more sections so as to give more flexibility uh, to the designers uh, to choose from. And uh, this corrosion resistant and earthquake and seal, these are uh, the research and, 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 and the subsequent different process are still on. We are pretty hopeful of uh, coming out with corrosion resistant and earthquake resistant structural steel. Uh, and also the fire resistance we have done some preliminary we have already got some certificate from some uh, from cbri but then we need still further certification for for say, say industry kind of fire and so once that is available obviously we will come to the market with fire resistance also so that's all the, 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 that's all that we had to say thank you all for the present here Thank you, Gautam, for the nice presentation. Uh, are we the main time? Presentation was going. Uh, I got a set of questions from the audience through the question and the chat. So uh, I will uh, pose those questions to and uh, to Deepak also, to you only. Um, and we'll see that how uh, to those uh, questions. It's almost like 
uh, and the uh, audience has asked uh, uh, if that uh, yes uh, yes uh, this is the first this is the point we 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 will say that it's for us uh yeah it is i mean there is such a on we are that we have to have the commercial production is not but we are planning we have shown that part the commercial production we will do uh, i mean uh, we expected this year so once we give it the production we will give the market and we will give the our information so there is not not much difference between uh, the uh, what we are giving to the uh, in the uh, uh, main so uh, uh, the we have got vast array of corrosion resistant so the yeah. solution in the first go it is a sort of more than and 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 the disposable section this is more than basically at least that the solution some command there which can optimally mainly at end of section we use it is a finally it's a design call that is of course Uh, they're in both the uh, as well 
step up questions. Next question is: Great girl has been used for a long time. Used for the shopping. Color flags are different. Cost as compared to the paid uh, paid section. sections what Uh, very well 
uh, uh, tell you about what is the like, uh, uh, how much amount of steel we can supply to you. So, uh, when it comes to have uh, some detail on this thing, that how much they want, how much they can supply. How much that uh, we've got uh, this much production capacity. Uh, obviously, you can uh, rely on this one that we can supply. But uh, the actual amounts we can discuss. Uh, you, you can discuss with the marketing team. Uh, that is a, a central marketing organization, or you can contact yeah. us also. We will uh, uh, go down that. Yes, this is the part who has raised this question. We can. Uh, what I will do is please share your contact details uh, with us. Uh, 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 we'll make a. I mean, uh, we will pass it on to our uh, marketing. marketing and sales people. They will get in touch with them. And but but my yeah. my my fast because we have such a big quantities, we should be able to supply it uh, without much difficulty. Yes. Uh, next question is: It is saying that universal rolling technology has given designers the option for selecting various sectional weight for a particular section size. But are designers really optimizing the section weight based on the actual lot requirement? Of course, that is the primary basic requirement. If they are not doing the job, they, then uh, but I'm. Um, uh, that is the pri I will not go beyond this. I will just say that is the primary uh, job uh, of a designer. In fact, I would say that this this webinar is one of the uh, stepping stones toward that. Uh, we are we are uh, trying to create awareness about about the parallel transaction so that the uh, designers who are connected to this seminar and uh, so that we can uh, spread the awareness that uh, you can do this thing and you can uh, optimize for for your organizations so that uh, there is saving in steel, there is, there is greater consumption of steel. So uh, if if the designers are not doing this. I would I would impress upon all the designers who are connected here that please start doing this thing. Yeah, that is the major. I mean, uh, 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 during the presentation also we have we have the see the structure the, the two purpose the two primary purpose. First, it has to be safe under all loading condition. It has to be safe, so you cannot compromise on the safety of it. But once that you is. are done, then you have to uh, uh, I mean you have to see that the section is efficiently used, the strength or the capacity is efficiently used. That is the job of a designer. So yeah. the more you more you use efficient section, more economy will you will achieve. And uh, uh, the softwares nowadays have this optimization feature. For example, Stat Pro, which optimizes it for you. Once you design a safe structure, you can ask the Stat Pro to just optimize it. It will just check the sections which are uh, effectively used. That is the utilization ratio almost to 0.9 or 1. Whatever you set to, it will take it to that. So designer, uh, it will become much easier for the designer to choose upon a section by using optimization techniques in many software which is available. And for example, we use Statpro, so we are sure that uh, you can use that for optimizing sections. Uh, okay, Deepak. Um, Any more questions, sir? Yeah, no, no, there are lots of questions, but uh, since the time is running out, I am just seeing that uh, there are a similar type of question. There are uh, other, like uh, one question was, are the consultants able to convince the EPC contractors to use parallel plan sections when the EPC contractors have the option of going for tapered section or build up section? This is basically, uh, again, I, as I told you, that this type of seminar, this type of uh, gathering of technical persons uh, through IEI and other forums is basically uh, trying to convince you all that, uh, uh, whether it be consultants or the EPC contractors or other users. That uh, parallel fly sections are basically uh, quite uh, good and useful for for uh, projects. So if they are not able to convince, then, uh, please uh, you can contact us. We will give you more details so that uh, you are able to convince them to, uh, the consultants, the contractors. Uh, when it comes to fabrication, many fabricators not able to use the parallel fly due to ability and uh, commercial section. No, uh, just I mean, just uh, just because that question was there, and another thing comes to my mind. Uh, yeah. uh, we had done. I mean, there was one specific requirement. Uh, the, this plate gutter section they had used. I mean, uh, when the, the, I mean, there is already existing one ceiling between uh, Bandra only ceiling. Another similar ceiling is due to come in Mumbai yeah. again. Again, off the side. That's a very big, big job. And the majority mm. of the section they, they used was were, were the uh, plate uh, when fabricated plate gutters. This design, of course, was done by some outside parties, by designers from outside. For that section also, a large number of, the majority of the fabric we had replaced with our NP750 uh, section and we had given an alternate solution. But but that, that has not progressed much, but that is what we are saying. that uh, uh, This uh, NPB section, 
uh, this this even very very efficiently it can compare with fabricated section and then the the, the requirement of the fabrication is not required i mean that can be avoided yeah we can give such solutions that is correct okay uh, there's one question that how to calculate tensile stress compressive stress and the bending moment in parallel and tapered section so as such it is it is same for uh, either tapered section or or uh, or parallel side section there is no difference as such for calculation of tensile stresses compression stresses so is in uh, analysis there is no change as such you have to, uh, you, you calculate the i you calculate the uh, modulus uh, z and then you uh, calculate the uh, stresses in this one so as such there is no change uh, there is a question that uh, I am from PEB field using the PU sections made out of plates. Just a question of case study of six by six meter building with a comparison of conventional and PF sections. Have you compared it with the PU sections made out of plates for the same design loads? Uh, you, uh, no, we haven't. No, no, we haven't done because uh, we are primarily uh, uh, comparing between a roll section and roll section. If yes, you are sir. doing, if you are doing a fabricated section. Then probably you can fabricate a section to the T to your requirement. Like in case of a PEB section, they, they, they are but but then uh, the, the, the completely other issues. The fabrication issues is there. The plate cost is there. So uh, uh, too many factors will come. It cannot be compared way as such. Am I audible? Yes, I'm audible. I'm looking for the question. Can you please uh, can you design some software? Can we design uh, some software which can help designers in designing warehouse building using parallel plan sections? No, we cannot. There are lots of softwares already available in the market, like Stad or Etab or Techlias, uh, or the So we don't need to design any more softwares. We can use those softwares for for designing these parallel plan sections. Nice. So you can use any other software for designing the parallel plan sections uh, uh, because uh, Stad as such supports the whole in your parallel plan section. So. That is not a problem. So you can use Stad or you can use uh, Etab or you can use Techlab. So there is no problem in that. Uh, there is one more question on the corrosion uh, prevention, but uh, that we have already dealt uh, with. Uh, and there is one question: parallel transaction produced in rolling mills. Yes, they are produced in rolling mills. Which version of Stad Pro supports this type of steel structures? Um, the latest version, that is the uh, which one? Connected, connected, yeah, connected, connected edition. Okay. Connected edition, yes. So, Stat Pro Connected Edition has all these sections. Okay. Uh, for the, in Indian sections, if you see, there is a, two different folders for NPB and WPB, and you have all the sections. In the regular SMB sections, you have a folder, then you have a, two folders for NPB and WPB. And uh, one question it is whether all pilot sections are plastic or like compact type classifications? Not all, sir. Not all. Uh, generally, your uh, when you have four weight, three or four weights, the least mm -hmm. weight section is generally uh, in uh, doesn't come under plastic and compact. It is generally semi-compact. Whereas okay. uh, your higher weight sections, uh, if right. you have four sections, generally three of them, the higher weight sections, are under plastic and compact. There's no issue with that. Uh, so that is second. No, no. We have a few more questions. Uh, no, no, no. no, no. I was, I was saying that the, 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 the section, the, 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 the weeds and flange actually are in such a way that majority of them actually falls in uh, plastic and, plastic uh, and, and compact. compact. So that is actually taken care of in the section itself. Right. Uh, it is saying that it's mentioned that section area is increased in NPB. How does overall weight of the frame with NPB is lesser than that of frames with conventional tapered section? I did not get the question. Uh, Oh, I, I also didn't get the question. It is mentioned the section area has increased in PB. How overall weight of the frame with NPB is lesser than weight? No, it, it is not like that. It cannot be like that because of the section. We will bring the cable Because of the section, the weight has to be I understand what uh, Gautam was stressing about and Deepak was stressing about that in this one it is more efficient. That is, it, the weight is more efficiently distributed. So that is why uh, the total it is able to take the stresses more efficiently as compared to the tapered section. And uh, that is why the total uh, weight of the uh, structure using this section is less as compared to the tapered sections. I think there was some confusion uh, in, this, in this one. So it is asking no, what no. is the uh, fire rating of the NPB sections? 
Do you have any fire rating for this one? Uh, like it sir, is, uh, fire rating, yes, sir, yeah. fire rating is generally given to the coating, but uh -huh. uh, uh, as far as uh, R&D is concerned, which they have done a research, they have for uh, residential buildings, they are talking about the residential fire, they have a fire rating of almost um, in excess of three to four hours. Hello? Hello, sir, am I audible? Uh, yes, you are. Uh, so uh, our research, uh, uh, R&D has already given their uh, research work to CBRA and they have tested it. It is in the excess of three to four hours. Again, it, depending on the uh, chemical composition, you can actually increase the fire rating also. But fire rating generally is given to the, uh, the intermittent paints you add on to structure. But we are talking okay. about fire resistant steel without any intermittent paint on the structure. Yeah, that is still at a development stage, and so uh, that is uh, not. It, so these so structures, we, these sections, got sections the are from but uh, we have not still commercially started producing it. Yeah, that yeah, that's it. Depending on the orders, we can definitely but, we can try it out. That, that is only uh, for a thing for for a building. Yeah. Building, yeah. Anything which is there uh, fire. Not, we'll not talk about that. Fire. Then uh, there is a, a question that the cost of parallel fire section uh, comparable to ISMP and ISMC sections. It is yes, both same. It, it is like so both, both are lesser. Both are lesser. Uh, so both are same. Sir, the production cost is actually lesser in compared so in in uh, parallel plant sections because of the uh, advancement in technology. Because of the same, the same rule set, you can make three different sections, so it yeah. makes it cheaper actually. So generally in but, the market, if you see, it adds it lesser in the cost in the market if you uh, compare the cost. So it is uh, again. It is cost effective to use the parallel fire sections. Right. Um, there was one comment as such. It is not a question. So developer geometry. So dimension of standard material length are used. So your wastage can be reduced to minimum. Yes. It is geometry needs to be developed like that so that dimension of the, uh, it is reduced. There's one question is how, uh, what about the manufacture of QST, quenching and self tempering process tubes used in India and high rise buildings? But this is not about the QST, quenching and self tempering process tubes in India. We are talking about the parallel fan section. So um, I think it is uh, like uh, deviation from that. But uh, if you can, uh, Gautam? I didn't hear it clearly, I'm not getting the voice very well. Quenching of QST, quenching and self tempering process tubes in India for use of high rise buildings. No, I don't no, no, these are manufacturing process. We are not, this, this, this is yeah. mostly due to the metallurgy. We are not very familiar with the, this manufacturing process. That is what. And uh, second question was that parallel fine sections are good for correction design, mostly bolted correction, which is a major cost in the collection. So, that's comment only. Depot section, yeah. okay. uh, most are comments only. Yeah. One is saying saving in weight about the cost saving. So, saving in weight leads to cost, save, cost saving. No problem in that. Yeah, that is, that is the point we are trying to make. Yeah, that is what. So I think that uh, uh, then we have a question in, in chat box also. Uh, it is saying that uh, it is from Mr. Mahesh Tandon, Professor Mahesh Tandon, that many parallel fine sections not available. Is it possible to get your catalog showing readily available sections to avoid redesign? What is maximum size available which can be used to avoid plate girders? Sir, uh, uh, you know, what we have shown in this presentation are the sections which are stabilized and which are available now. The yeah. Thirty-seven sections what we have shown, and if you are talking about NPVs, we have a range from as low as hundred to as high as seven hundred fifty mm. Whereas in WPBs, what we have stabilized till now is uh, till three hundred mm depth, one sixty to two forty and three hundred. Two stabilized uh, sections in WPBs. In NPVs, you have till fifty depth. Okay. Uh, actually, there was a request from uh, one of the. Question that uh, can we share the presentation? So I don't know about the, the realities, but, uh, whether uh, in uh, institution of engineers, it is out, then we will we'll share the presentation. Uh, then uh, whatever people that uh, which you are given, those things will be available in the presentation. Uh, you can very well directly see the list and then side upon this section. Uh, so, uh, which are marketing as forms for parallel plan sections. Uh, we uh -huh. will share that uh, group link, uh, Google link to uh, IEI so that they can give it to their members. If you can uh, join that link, you have all the updated uh, information about uh, parallel fan sections there where our marketing people keep on updating that uh, group. 
Google link it is. We will be sharing it with IA so that they will be sharing it with their members. Okay. Um, I understand that uh, now as the time is also getting over and um, and we have got one or two more questions. We will take one or two more questions. Then we will, uh, I think that uh, as the time is also getting over, then uh, we will close. Uh, it is, uh, there is one question it is asking that can we use in old buildings which are constructed with the help of lime? Um, lime? Yeah, like mm -hmm. very old buildings where uh, lime construction was used, like uh, the brick building. Lime terrace? Lime is a building, Manta, Purana building. Oh, lime, no, no. This will be difficult, very difficult to do this thing. Yeah, uh, because uh, brown brick construction, yeah. when we are talking about brown brick construction, existing, using existing building, we can't uh, uh, say generally. We have to see on a case to case basis. What care uh, should we take in connection between pilot section, uh, between pilot and section since outstanding length of web is more? Uh, no, no, that is taken, that is that is taken, but uh, thickness is also more. These sections are the, the, this is uh, there. The section hmm. itself are plastic. Don't okay. have to take any special connection for that. And uh, can you please comment about the residual stress in the parallel frame sections? Mm -hmm. Residual stresses. Uh, uh, residual uh, stresses. This is a, only a manufacturing process. I, I understand uh, uh, this should be there in both the sections, but with this uh, 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 modern day technology, my uh, this is, uh, I'm not too sure, but I uh, my uh, expectation is that there will be lesser of uh, residual stress. Okay, uh, but then, uh, this is a, is a completely manufacturing process, so I, I am not too sure though. So uh, as such, uh, after that, that now we come to the uh, end of the question answer session. Uh, we have taken some questions, but now we are seeing uh, we don't have uh, the end of it. We don't have any more questions that we had. Lots of questions. And, uh,